book haul. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you a book haul of just some books I've collected over the past couple months, pretty much since 2021 started, that we have not featured in a book haul. Um, if I happen to accidentally show one that was in a previous book haul, I apologize. Um, I have gotten a couple of good ones that I've wanted to show and some that we've held off from showing and so I may have gotten a couple mixed up. So. Apologize in advance for that, uh, but uh, I'm going to show you the paperbacks first, and then the hardcovers, and this is just kind of a collective bit from either stuff from Half Price Books, Barnes & Noble, eBay, whatever it is. And I think I've got an ARC in here as well. So if you like stuff like this, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, let's get this thing started. First book up is The Minders by John Mars. I have read a book by him called The Passengers and I really enjoyed it and I figured why not try a second book by him. Uh, this was his most recent release if I'm not mistaken and I'm going to uh, give this one a read at some point. Don't know much about it. If you follow my channel so far, a lot of the books that I get they are just kind of like, like if I've read the author before or just something that I've heard is good, I tend to not go into the book knowing what it is unless it's something that people have talked to me about. This is one nobody has really talked about. So I didn't know a whole lot about this book. I just know that I love The Passengers by him, and so I'm going to give this one another read. Next book up is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. This edition completed the Halloween editions I was collecting. I have all eight of them. So... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, um, my shelf is like has space for like one more Halloween edition, and they don't have one, so it's kind of a bummer. But uh, but I'm gonna be doing a picture soon with all eight of them if I have if I have not done so already. So be on the lookout for that. You'll be able to see all eight of them. I think it looks pretty cool. So there you have the girl who loved Tom Gordon. Also, I forgot to mention I did read the girl who loved Tom Gordon, and I think I gave it three three and a half stars. Uh, again. Check out my Goodreads. We'll have that down below as well. It'll have all my ratings for everything I've read and my more books I have reviewed. Uh, I think that was three stars, three and a half stars. So, on to the next book, which is Later by Stephen King. This is the most recent Stephen King book that is out. They have another one coming out in August called Billy Summers, which sounds really cool. This one I did read, gave it five stars, which, coming from The Colorado Kid, which was his first hard case crime book, did not really expect it to be that good. I gave that maybe two stars, three stars, I think. Um, I have got one left to read, and that's Joyland, uh, which I am planning to do that soon. And then I'm probably going to be doing like a hard case crime video where I talk about all three books. I, I I'm intrigued to see how Joyland goes because some somebody else who I follow on Instagram said that Joyland, the like this kind of gave him vibes of Joyland a little bit. So if I like this one, I'm hoping I can like Joyland. Um, this book was really solid. I really recommend this book. Just came out five stars. References some older King stuff, and it is phenomenal. No spoilers. So, they have later. The next book up is The Turtle Boy by Keelan Patrick Burke. Uh, I read this one recently. I think I gave it four stars. I want to say it was four stars. Um, I do have another Keelan Patrick Burke, and that is Jack and Jill. I have not read this one yet. Uh, this one I gave, like I said, like four stars, I think. He's been really good as an author for me. Kill and Patrick Burke has been really good. So I'm very excited to get my hands on this one. I think I've got a couple more Kill and Patrick Burks left, but he's been like my short story god. Like I've loved all of his short stories. Sour Candy, Blanky, Turtle Boy. Now I just got to read Jack and Jill. Um, I'm sure there is other ones out there, but these are the ones I've read so far. So... Turtle Boy, Jack and Jill. All right, the next book up is The Whispering Dead by Darcy Coates. I was sent this by the publisher, uh, Poison Pen Press. Uh, that's a tongue twister. Um, so thank you for sending me this book. I have enjoyed the two Darcy Coates books I have read so far. She does have a lot of good stories out there. Dead Lake was one of them. Uh, I want to say it was The Haunting of Gillespie House, I think was the other one I read. And I really enjoyed that one. Um, she's got a lot more I got to read. 
and this one comes out May 4th of this year and I have not read it yet but I really want to um, I've heard good things about it and I've read the back of it and it sounds really interesting so be on the lookout for this that completes the paperback editions I was going to show you and now I'm going to show you the hardcovers or like special editions that I really liked uh, I got this one from I believe Barnes and Noble and it is the Lord of the Rings the entire collection um, the Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. Um, and this really cool looking like leather bound book. I have not read any of these stories yet. I really want to. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. So be on the lookout for a video like that coming out soon maybe. Next up is Burn Town by Jennifer McMahon. I read The Winter People by her. I want to say at the start of the year. Gave that five stars. Really enjoyed that book. Then I just read the one that I think is coming out soon called The Drowning Kind. Um, I gave that one four stars, 4.25 I think it was. Did that in a reading vlog. You can check that out up here if you want to take a look at that. I don't know anything about this one. I just know that it's by Jennifer McMahon and I really want to read this. Uh, this came out a few years ago. I think it was 2017. I think it was around 2017. So. I gotta give this one a read soon. Uh, there's a couple other Jennifer McMahons that are out there, and I have not read them. And I have intention of reading as many of them as I can. She's kind of becoming like a favorite author of mine. So, props to her. Yeah, there you have uh, Burn Town. Alright, next book up is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. I read this in your reading vlog with a couple other like books with like huge twists, I think was the vlog. Check that out up here if you want to take a look at that. Um, I also read Behind Her Eyes in that one, and that was a really solid book. Um, this one, I think, got four and a half stars. Again, check out the Goodreads down below. Uh, I think it was four and a half stars. It had really good twists in it. It was a really solid book. Uh, so, kind of worth killing by Peter Swanson. Next up is One on One by Tabitha King. So, I got this book because it's Tabitha King. It's Stephen King's wife. And... I have not read anything by her yet. I hope to get to this at some point. I don't know. If you know what like type of like genre she writes, let me know because I'm not sure. Um, I mean, there, it looks like there's like a couple kissing on here. I don't know if this is like a romance. I, I don't know. So let me know in the comments down below if you know what kind of genre she's a writer of because I'm not quite sure. There's also just a nice book to add in my Stephen King collection, kind of keeping it in the family. You know, I got Joe Hill, Stephen King, and I got Tabitha. I know Owen King has a book out, but maybe one day. So one-on-one, -on -one, Tabitha King. All right, so the next two I'm gonna show you are books that are more like fantasy related. I've been wanting to try and get into fantasy, and these are probably the two books that I think might get me into them the fastest. Uh, even though they're really long books. The first one is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. There's four books in this series, and I've heard a lot of good things about this series, and they're relatively thick books. I think this is actually the thinnest out of the four. Maybe the third one might be thinner. I'm not sure 100%, but this one is still a decent size. I'm excited to get into this series because a lot of people talk about this, this series, and... The next one, which is a very large series, which is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This, I think, has 12 books in the series. Might be 11. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I know there's a lot of books in this series. This is the cool 30th anniversary edition I picked up at Barnes & Noble. Thought it looked really cool. Why not? It's also a fantasy, and like I said, I'm trying to get into that. But you have The Eye of the World. The last book I'm going to show you is a really cool collector's item for Stephen King fans. Uh, I got this from a friend. Uh, he was able to give it to me for a relatively nice price. It is the Cemetery Dance Carry Edition. So Cemetery Dance has been publishing Stephen King books um, where they have like cool art. They've got like a really nice looking cover and they come in this really cool like slip case. So... This is the first one by, which is Carrie. Um, it's not the first edition they've made. They've made a whole bunch of them. Uh, they've got Salem's Lot, The Shining, 
Night Shift is the most recent one that just came out. They have From a Buick Gate, they have Doctor Sleep, It, Sleeping Beauties, Full Dark No Stars. I think those are the main cemetery dances they have. They have other cool addition looking things too, like Christine's got one, Dead Zone, but I don't have any of those ones. Um, I've got, I think, I've got a couple cemetery dances now from some good prices from some fr good friends of mine. So, but yeah, there's some really cool artwork in here. Um, I really like this. And it's funny because the friend who gave, who sold it to me, uh, what actually happened was the the slip cases for the editions where they come out with, I think it's 1,750 of them or 1,500 of them. But the actual book itself is the edition where they only have like 750 where it's actually autographed by like the artists. So he told me he picked up the slip case just as the slip case. And I actually found the book somewhere else. So the book itself is seven, like edition 750, where there's only 750 of them. They're signed by the artists. And the slip case is for the edition where there's like 1,500 of them. So it's kind of like a two-in-one kind of thing. Still very cool. Really like the edition. And it makes a nice addition to my library. So there you have the Cemetery Dance Carry Edition. All right, guys. So that was the book haul. Just some collective stuff I've gotten for the past couple of months. Figured I'd share them with you because you haven't seen them. Very fun stuff to get. I really enjoy binding books, getting books, reading books, obviously. So, yeah. What are some books you've gotten in the past couple of months that are really exciting for you? What are some books you're hoping to get into in the next couple of days to try and read? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Later.